Sarah. What can we expect over the next few days, especially on 4th of July? Yeah, well, if you take a look at our city right now, like you mentioned, Jason, we're not really expecting much winds present. We are going to deal with the heat a little bit, and we're also going to include some moisture, add some moisture to our forecast. So we are in for some rain chances. Grab your umbrella. The rain chances are going up. We've had some moisture in the area the past few days. Yesterday, it kind of it kind of went its way out. It kind of dissipated just a little bit, but those rain chances, they are coming back up today. So here's a look at our rain chances for the evening. You can see some models suggest Las Cruces area could see about 40% chance of rain and El Paso about 30% chance of rain. Now, this moisture is going to move to the east of us. So around Del City, Alamogordo, 80% chance for rain. So we're anticipating this rain to really start making its way to the El Paso area about 4 to 5 p.m. So here's a look at our short term model and you can see today about 10 a.m. looks pretty dry. Not much to look at, look at, but at 1 p.m. we start to see some moisture. It's starting to build in the area. Then come 3 p.m. That's when a lot of that moisture is really going to start making its way on through. You see it getting near El Paso, Chaparral in Las Cruces and then 5 p.m. That's when El Paso is sitting in that larger pocket of moisture and we can expect our highest chances for rain. That being said, the, in, the evening will continue and you see the moisture. It moves to the east of us about 8 p.m. into 11 p.m. Well to the east of us and on its way out. So we can anticipate some rain chances for today. We have about a 30% chance, 30 to 40% chance between 4 to 5 p.m. and then come a little later in the evening. We'll see as I showed you those rain chances. They'll drop down to about 20%. The rain isn't gone just yet, though. It could make its return come 4th of July. So for today, though, our high, we are going to see about a high of 101 in El Paso with an overnight low of about 76 out in Las Cruces. We're going to see triple digits as well at 100 degrees with an overnight low in the area of 68. So we've been seeing a lot of triples. You know, we're used to them at this point. Some of us getting tired of them, but we want to remind you that a record was set for El Paso back in 1994 when 23 triple digits were met consecutively. So right now we have about 16. That's not including today. We could add a 17th to that, which is looking like we will. So if we're at 17, we're just a few days shy of reaching that 23. And I know some of us don't like the heat, but we might as well hold on a little longer and try to beat it. Looking at our 4th of July ahead, it's looking to be a nice 4th of July, 100 degrees still in the 100. We do have that rain chance at about 10%. We are going to see it make its the moisture make its way back into the area. But again, our strongest chances for rain are today into Monday. And another record set for the highest temperature for 4th of July was back in 1980 when we reached 106. And again, as I just showed you, we're expecting to reach about 100. Here's a look at our seven day future track sponsored by Mattress Fern. 101 for your Sunday. Temperature drops just slightly to 99 for your Monday. But the temperature comes right back up, reaching 100 degrees for your 4th of July.